Greetings. Greetings are called as begrüßung. Begrüßung. Good day is called as guten tag. Guten tag. You have to repeat after me. Make sure you're repeating after me, else you may have problem in pronunciation of the words in the later stage. Good day is called as guten tag. Good morning is called as guten morgen. Guten morgen. Good evening is called as Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Good night. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. See you again. Auf Wiedersehen. I repeat. Auf Reader Zen. You have to break this word in three sections for better pronunciation. Although it's one word, so final pronunciation will be Auf Reader Zen. Bye. Choose. Choose. Thank you. Danke. Thank you is called as Danke. Continuing with greetings, till later is called as bisbals. Bisbals. Hello is called as hello. Hello. Please or welcome is called as bitter. Yes, yeah, no, nine. I hope greetings are clear. Moving on to the next topic of personal pronouns. In German, we call it as personal pronomen. So, I is called as ich in German. We are referring to one person, singular in nature. Du is when you're talking to your friends your siblings on an informal note but yes you are talking only to one person referring to the second person right you are talking to single person which is singular in nature and since you are referring to the second person so this becomes second person okay however if the case is same you are referring to a single person singular in nature you are referring to the second person but on a formal note, then it will be capital Z. That means S will be capital. On the other hand, if we are saying he, she, it, S, E, S. In all these three cases, we are referring to the third person. But yes, again, on the singular note. So in German, we call it as R, Z, S. In this Z, S will be small. Talking about now plurals. So, V is called as beer in German, wherein you are referring a group of people, including yourself. Although, on the other hand, if you are referring to other people, excluding yourself, and it's more than one, it will be ear which means you for you all on an informal note. Please note this ear is the plural form of do and wear is the plural form of ish. And if you're referring to a group of people saying they all, you're talking to one person and talking and referring to more than one person, then we call it as they all in English, which is again a small z and it's again plural in nature. Okay, so make sure you learn this table because today we are starting with verb conjugation topic wherein we would require these personal pronouns as a base.
Please make a note of this table if you didn't note in the last class. Moving further, we also learned how are you in German, how to ask how are you in German to be precise. Frage is called as question, formal note, we get as Ihnen, I will be capital. Friendly or informal note, we get or we get as dear, apostrophe as should always be there. Make sure you don't forget this. Order is called as or. So, or in English is order in German. Moving further, possible replies to it is get me a good danke, which means I am doing good, thank you. If you are doing very good, is get me a sehr good danke. If you are doing okay, not too good, not too bad, just okay. In English, we say I am fine, thanks. So, then you have to say just as as gate danke as your reply. If you are not doing well, you will say as gate mir, okay, so good, danke. And if you are doing very bad, you can even say as gate mir, they are schlecht. So this is not schlecht. Sh sound will be gone. Schlecht. Both S C H and C H. Sh sound. Schlecht. And T sound at the end. As gate mir, they schlecht, danke. 